Memories are an important part of everyday life. They allow us to recall prior events so that we may walk knowledgeably into the future. The fundamental organ for memory storage is the brain, and it appears that all brain regions are involved in some form of memory storage. This highlights how fundamental and necessary memory is for our existence. The basis of memory storage lies in our ability to strengthen synaptic connections within our brain. This process relies heavily on a mechanism called long-term potentiation, or LTP. LTP occurs when a neuron fires and releases neurotransmitter at the synapse. The neurotransmitter binds and stimulates the postsynaptic cell, and if the stimulus is strong enough or occurs repetitively, more neurotransmitter receptors will be delivered to the postsynaptic cell, and in the future you will only require a small amount of neurotransmitter to elicit a strong response. This highlights the importance of repetition for memory storage. For students preparing for an exam, repetition is vital. Many often find that when they are studying for a test, they will do better when they are frequently exposed to the material. Take for example the actor Chevy Chase. In this example, a test is administered to a student who has only glanced at his notes for a few moments prior to the test. It's with no surprise that he remembers very little, but why? Shouldn't he have remembered something from glancing at his notes? Well, this highlights two important forms of memory, short-term memory and long-term memory. Short-term memory is a type of memory with very limited capacity, and the information is only held in the brain for a few seconds to a few minutes. Frequent repetition allows for the formation of long-term memories. These long-term memories allow for information to be stored for much longer periods of time and may be more useful to Chevy Chase next time he has to take an exam. Different brain regions are involved in the formation of different kinds of memories. Take for example the spatial maps that need to be stored by taxi drivers in a large city like London. The brain region that has been shown to be important for spatial map storage is the hippocampus. Recently a controversial study suggests that hippocampal regions are larger in London taxi drivers compared to the general population. This is likely a result of increased synaptic mass in this area, but it also brings up the age-old debate of the size matter. Another good example of memory in action is in our canine friends. Yes, dogs are memory machines. Dogs are very efficient in a certain form of memory called working memory. Working memory is used to store information when completing complex tasks. We can see this form of memory in action using a simple experiment. First, we will present our canine friend, Freddy, with one of his favorite toys. We will then place the toy in one of two boxes. After seeing which box the toy is placed in, Freddy is then taken out of the room for several minutes. When Freddy is released, he has no trouble finding his favorite toy. But is this because Freddy remembered, or is he simply able to smell his way to his favorite toy? Well, let's see. Let's perform the same experiment. The difference is that this time, while Freddy leaves the room, we're going to move the toy into another box different from the one that he remembered it being placed into. When Freddy is released, he goes straight for the box where he remembered his toy being. And after some frantic searching and some notable confusion, he's able to see his toy. And this event is nothing more than a memory. <laughs> Our study with Freddy highlighted three important aspects necessary for memory. These aspects are encoding, storage, and retrieval of information. All of these processes must occur in order to have a functional memory. In the end, memory helps us to create a clear representation of what has happened in our life. Furthermore, memory plays a vital role in our decisions in the future. Humans have the capacity to store an extremely large amount of information much more information than we could ever imagine storing in even the most powerful of supercomputers. In addition, we are capable of forming memories throughout our life. In the end, our brain is a skilled painter
that creates a clear representation of the world, and memory is the canvas onto which this painting is applied.